full service mental health care team for pets includes numerous people in the veterinary veterinary hospital. Okay, so for instance, uh, we have to have the GP veterinarian involved because the GP veterinarian is going to help us rule out issues, rule out problems, prognose, diagnose, and prescribe. Then we have the veterinary nurse, okay, which is the critical part of the mental health care team, and I'll come back to that in a second. We also need to have a qualified trainer involved. Um, sometimes that qualified trainer can also be the veterinary nurse, depending on their experience level. Then we also need to have a referral service. So when we have cases that are out of the GP realm, we need to be able to refer them. The other aspect of a full service mental health care team is having mental health for the pet parent. In Tennessee, they've started a program for veterinary social workers, which is specifically for people in veterinary medicine, but also to help the pet parents with like grief counseling and things like that. And that's one of the areas that I really hope to see expand so that we can start putting um, some light on the human-animal bond and the grief that can come with losing a pet.